Plastic Model Builders, it is that time. If you did not see the videos of this, go back and watch them. It is the Ravel B1B Lancer 148th scale. Go big or go home. Model making madness, especially with this one. So this is the box. You've seen it. And now, now it's time to show you the plane. Here it is. Voila, this is it. The B1B Lancer by Ravel, 148th scale. Let me tell you something about this model. Not only is it big, but it also looks great. So go out and get it if you haven't gotten it yet. It's a hard find. You can get it on the auction sites and it's kind of expensive. It's not cheap. I've seen it lately going for the 200s and that's American dollars USD, but you can find it. So a little bit about this plane, the wings, they move in and out. They've got these right here. They come out a little bit tricky to get them out, but they will come out. We have this right here. You just gotta be careful. You can lift that up. You can see inside of the airplane. That's another plus. We'll put that back right there. It only goes one way. Make sure you put it on right. There we go. Make it look pretty. We've got our nose cone and we can take this off. Oh, look at what we have here. It's the radar right there. There you go. We've got our canards right here. We've got this, it's our wheel. Yeah, it moves. This also goes up and down like this. Neat little plus to the model. I like it. Next, we've got the stabilizers. They move just like so. Gotta be careful when you put this together though because they tend to wanna fall down. So I've got a little piece of paper here just holding them in place. You really have to press these together to get them to stay. That's maybe the only con. Um, there were a couple of other things that made this model a little difficult, and that's when you have to press this together right here. Uh, the seams were pretty good. They went together fairly well. They just left a little bit of edges because you have to be careful of how they go together. We're gonna take this, we're gonna stick this back on. I don't think it matters which way it goes on as long as it goes on. And there we go. So we've got that, got our engines right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take out these little pieces right here and we'll show you how the wings fold in. The best way to do this is you kind of just grab it, get your finger in there and slowly pull out and pull out one side. You can see right there, it's got these little tips for it and as well a little notch right there. So we'll try that with this other side. Hopefully it goes the exact same way just grab it like so, slowly pull out on the back side, just like that, and then pull. And there you go, it has little notches. These wings, you have to be careful when building this plane unless you make these detachable because I had a lot of problems with, it was hard putting this together as you see in the videos. See now, look at that, it wants to pop up a little bit when the wings are back. I've even got some weights in here as well. So apparently the, uh, two ounces of weights I believe I put in is not enough to keep this plane on the ground with the wings swept back. So let's see what happens when we sweep them forward. Just a little bit, keeps on going. You see that plane slowly starts tilting forward. There we go, back about almost to the halfway point and they stay. Either way, we'll just tilt these back. Uh, some of the hard parts I had were on the instructions. It talked about how to put on these decals that you see right here. There are no steps. It was a little hard to get those on. I think the directions were kind of off a little bit. So I made the best that I could out of it and put them on how I see fit. The engines, they went together very well. Um, it was a little difficult with the paint scheme trying to figure that out. Basically, the outsides of these engines they go a steel color and the insides they paint they got painted a gunmetal so that's that gunmetal seems to be a popular kind of color with the past two models I've done uh, by the way this was one from Ellsworth Air Force Base that's in South Dakota 
We're going to flip this over and we're going to show you the underside of this model and we're going to show you how nice it is. So here is the underside of this model. As you can see, we've got a whole slew of bombs inside of there and ram missiles or aim. I believe they were aim missiles. Either way, there they are. There's a lot of those. I would say 16 in total. So you're going to have to do a bunch and a bunch of work if you want all those. Here is one plus the wheels. Watch this. That's right. The wheels move on the front and the back if you do it right. And as well on the sides right here, although that turns. This one is a little bit less loose. Maybe put some oil in there. You can see how that also moves. So another great feature of this model, moving wheels. We will turn this back over. Got to do this carefully because as I said, these wings, they tend to move very easily. This is a big plane. And at least I can grip it how I want because that's how sturdy it is. Just make sure you don't use too much glue, but you want to use enough where everything stays put. As you can see, great model. Didn't have a lot of issues with seams. Things went fairly well. I did take the time to make them a little bit better, the best of my ability. There is a seam that goes around the whole plane right here. And there is one, I believe it starts right here in the back. I did this one a little bit better, so it's kind of hard for me to tell where it is, but I believe it's right here just before these insignias. So, you know, a little bit of sanding, you'll have a little bit of work to do when you fill in, like, some, rescrape some of these lines. But overall, this is the model. Recessed panel lines, that's always a plus. So remember that when you get this. Uh, just make sure it stays together well. Make sure you avoid, when you build this, that the wings flap back and forth, unless your glue is really strong, because I tended to crack right along here and all along the back multiple times, so I had to fix that plenty. So it's one of those things, be careful, make sure the windows stay clear. All you have to make sure when you put these in, kind of like, like in the last airplane that we did, the B-29, you have to be careful when you put these in, because you have to put these in ahead of time. One of the negatives, kind of the same with those, so you have to make sure they stay masked off. Um, make sure you don't get any stuff inside of there either, because it'll be hard to blow out. I've got some flakes in there, would kind of just wound it but that is what it is so and just a small little strip right here also gets painted right down the middle of the plane so when you put that on just make sure you get that then here it is the b1b lancer 148 scale by ravel let's take a closer look at it shall we so let's start with the nose cone as you can see it comes off we have the radar look at that it's nice and pretty it's not all dirty we have our front landing gear you see the front wheels rotate as well as the axle hydraulics whatever you want to call them i'm missing a landing gear light oh well so people modify this right here it pops up but you can glue it down and make the two hatches you can see straight through we have our seats and of course the ladder it moves up and down but the actual thing itself does not. Here's the inside of the cockpit. You can see the detail. I used decals, didn't worry about anything else. So here's where the seam line is. That meets the fuselage with the front half of the plane. Behind there, of course, remember, is our weights. So here's some of the decals showing you them. The lady of the night, isn't she pretty? So here's the main fuselage. We've got our rear engines right here, and of course our tail. Here's the wings. You can see this decal detail, how it's laid out right there. Looks lovely. Tail, you see the rudders, they move back and forth. Stabilizers, whatever you want to call them. You might need to brace those. So here you can see the finish line. A little hard to see it, but it's there. So you had to do that. And of course, you have your engine nozzles right there. You can buy aftermarket parts. Here are the wings that move back and forth. If you choose to have them out, you can put the inserts in there like I showed you earlier. This, of course, if they're back, makes the plane tip up, so you might need more weights. There's an in-detail shot right there you just saw of the engines. Here we go, the underside of the plane looks fairly clean. We've got our missile bays and the doors. You can see how these are done. We're going to show you a straight shot. And then after the straight shot, you can see it from the side. And, of course, landing gear, 
very important. Check out the wheels. They move. Really cool. Good feature of the plane. If you plan on doing that, you see the fuel tank, chromate green. Look at the little model these are, these wheels. They were tedious to do. So here is the bay doors, and you can see all the detail inside. You can do it however you want your model. So here's the rear engines. They look pretty in the nozzles, of course. Like I mentioned, you can buy aftermarket parts for those. This is pretty much it. So there you have it. B1B Lancer by Ravel. Our next model, the F4 Phantom. Another one by Ravel because I like doing Ravel models because they're easy to get, they're cheap, and they're fun to build because they're such a challenge and they're great for honing in your skills. So here it is. Watch that. Here's a couple clips of the upcoming video. As you know, the box break is always first. And then, of course, we build the model. So look forward to seeing the F4C Phantom. Subscribe, that way you can see the video coming out in two weeks. Give me some comments, because I love comments, and a lot of likes. See ya!